<laughs> Can I just push you back on the, on, the, on, the, on the tweets again? You've had all these, uh, uh, again, in my long experience of watching the US, UK thing, too long, you might argue. Um, it's very rare to get so many MPs from different sides all lining up to say, this is a terrible thing to do on the tweet. And you obviously have Prime Minister May coming out as well. You know, what, is there any, what, what is the way to repair that? And how much damage I don't do you think has been that, done? You know, I, don't th I know that the president... Uh, Prime Minister was one of the first, the first visitor to the U.S. after the inauguration of the president. The president and Prime Minister have a very, very good relationship. I know the president admires and respects uh, the Prime Minister greatly. And um, if I look down the road, the, the, my job and the president's job is protect Americans. And he's doing that the best he can. If you're going to have little stumbles along the road, absolutely. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You're going to have things that happen. But the intent, I think, is genuine, and it's going to happen. And what, and what, but in terms of the next stage, is there a kind of rapprochement? Is there, is there going to be any kind of um, diplomatic side to this at all? I think if we concentrate on the job at hand and really focus on that and try to take, you know, our relationship, our special relationship with the UK is centuries old. And... Uh, it's been well tested through thick and thin, but it's based on trust. And trust is something that you earn over a long period of time. And I think trust is 100% there. And so we'll get past all these things and get on to our main, main job and, and leadership in the world, which needs leadership. Perhaps, perhaps we can go through you know, one of the main areas at the moment, which is Brexit, with all its attending, attending complications. There's a lot of talk about maybe a U.S. UK trade deal, those sort of things. Has that begun? Has that begun as part of your brief at all? Yeah, I mean, not a not a deal, but discussion. Certainly, there are groups that are coming over, um, <clears throat> that have met in Washington and met over here to look at the parameters and trying to lay it out. What a potential, not a negotiation, but more looking at um, looking at the the environment and seeing what it will look like to put it to put a deal in place if, uh, when, if and when that occurs. Ambassador, have you spoken to the president in the last couple of days? Has Not he said any days. indication about when he's coming to the UK? No, I, he's been invited. The Queen invited him uh, for a state visit. Um, he accepted that invitation, and yep. that date has not been set. And he's, and he's not, I mean, you know, will he call you with counsel on when the best way, given we've had a, a kind of difficult couple of days in Parliament, you know, talking about the president? Um, you know, I think the president is excited to come over here and he's, you know, to, to do that. I think he would be very excited to do it. And, um, you know, yeah, I mean, we would, we would obviously coordinate with him. It's a, it's a big so move. You're, you're waiting for the details from this yeah, side? Yeah, we're going to wait. When we get the details, we'll pass it on to Bloomberg for sure.